Welcome to Refreshing Point Ministries, where Dr. Rick Layton is pastor and teacher. We thank you for your continued support of this ministry. For products and church information, please visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Now, get ready to receive the word as we are changing your world through faith. Now, today I want to give you a subtitle. I want to talk about the power of the tithe. The, the, the power of the tithe the, uh, and offerings. There, 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 there's an anointing that's on the tithe. There's an anointing that's on your offering. When, when you give and you give from the heart of God, you give out of a heart of gratitude to God and you have an attitude of gratitude, there's an anointing that comes on your tithe. So that's why you should just never bucket plunk it because there's an anointing that causes things to happen. There's an anointing that makes things happen when you give out of an attitude of gratitude. Oh, I sense the power of the anointing of God coming on your money right now. I sense, and how many of you know that in this day and time, you need some power on your money? You, you need an anointing on your money. Money with an anointing on it goes further than money without an anointing. And then write this down. The first tenth, it circumcises the 90. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God. It, it, it brings the 90 into covenant. Actually, I uh, like what my pastor says about the tithe. The tithe is a covenant connector. It connects you to God's promises. It connects you to the blessings of God. It connects you to the flow of God. It connects you to the windows of heaven. It connects you, glory to God, to an ability. It connects you to wisdom. It, it connects you to witty inventions. It connects you to ideals you would never get without the tithe. There's something on the tithe and on the offering that causes you to go further than if you never did it. Lift your hand in here today and, 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 and just recognize that there's an anointing on your life because of the tithe. There's an anointing on your life because of the offering. I, oh, glory. let's go to uh, uh, Genesis 14 now in verse 18. And this shows you where uh, Melchizedek, he tithed some 400 and something years before the law. And Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. He was the priest of who? Most High God. Most High God. Let's go to verse 19. And he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth, verse 20, and blessed be the most high God which have delivered thy enemies into thy hand. Keep it up. How many of you want to see your enemies delivered into your hand? How many of you want to see your enemy cut off at the path? How many of you want to see that when, when the devil comes up with plots and schemes against you and say that you're never going to make it and you're going to go under, it's something about the tide that will keep the enemy off you. It's something about the tithe and the offering that will cause the enemy not to be able to get to you. The tithe fortifies you against attack. The tithe strengthens you against attack. The tithe causes angels to be encamped round about you. It's something about a tither that will cause God to show up and skip over a million other people just to get to you. So lift your hand and say, I'm a tither. And I give in the way of offerings. And God is with me. My God shall increase me. I shall never fail. And blessed be the most high God, which have delivered thy enemies into thy hand. And he gave him tithes of all. He gave him what? He gave him what? tithes of all. He gave him tithes or he gave him the first tenth or the, uh, the, uh, the first portion of all, the first tenth, the first tenth of his increase. Let's go to uh, Hebrews uh, chapter 7 verses 1 and 2. 
This here gives another account of this same story. I sense an anointing in here right now. I sense the power of God in here right now. It says, for this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the most high God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, verse 2, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all. Abraham gave a what? A tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, which is king of peace. So he gave him a tenth part of all. He gave him a what? A tenth part of all. Let me say this to you. The tithe is the first tenth. It's the first ten percent. It's the first fruits of all. It's the first right one. And you take that tenth, you don't take it to your house. Amen. You don't come to church and leave a tenth at the house. Amen. Let me go back this way. Y'all ain't, y'all hear what I'm saying? You don't come to church and leave the tenth at the house. Amen. Let's go to uh, Deuteronomy 26. Verse 1 and 2. Boy, I love this on the screen. I don't even have to open my Bible. All I have to do is remember it in my head. I'm going to show you something else also in this uh, when we get further down. Verse 1, And it shall be when thou art come in unto the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance and possesseth it and dwellest therein. This actually, y'all ever noticed our... Um, Tithing confession, this is where we get it from, from Deuteronomy 26. If you read this whole chapter, this is actually called tithing the tithe. When you tithe the tithe, you speak words over your tithe. Don't ever just bucket plunk. Speak words and start thanking God, glory to God, and start thanking God for property, and start thanking God for land, and start thanking God for increase. Are you hearing me? Verse 2. It says, thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth, which thou shalt bring of thy land that the Lord thy God giveth thee. Who gave it to you? And thou shalt put it in a basket <laughs> and shall go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. Where's the place that the Lord chooses to place his name? It's at the local church where you are being fed the word of God. Yes, it's yes. the place you bring the tide to the place where the Lord has placed his name, and that's the local Refresher church. Point Ministries would like to thank you for viewing this message by Dr. Rick Layton. To order this message in its entirety, please call us at 877-227-8317 or visit us on our website at www.ricklaytonministries.org. Until next time, be blessed.